This is the Ferrari end zone. It can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. When it comes to gas-powered vehicles, this is the ultimate adrenaline rush. This is the T0, the world's fastest electric car. It can also do 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Laptop computer batteries power it. For the builders of the T0, electric vehicles are no longer just golf carts. Hi, I'm Tom Gage, president of AC Propulsion. Hi, I'm Alan Kikoni, I'm the original founder of AC Propulsion. We'd like to show you a couple of cars we've built. Alan is no stranger to electric vehicles. He converted this Honda CRX to electric in his driveway in 1991. Put the first prototype motor and electronics in the front and in the back here. We just bolted the batteries to the back cargo deck. Just hidden by a piece of carpet and that's it. So obviously not a very consumer friendly sort of car, but it was a good test bed. It was such a good test bed that AC Propulsion was born. Its mission is to help build a consumer market for electric and electric hybrid vehicles. In other words, if they build them, people will buy. This jet is the car we've just finished. It's got all the latest developments we've been working on. It's a pure electric vehicle. It can drive 40 miles on batteries only, but it's also a hybrid. It has a gasoline engine and a generator, so it can go on long trips without running out of juice. The car we're most proud of, though, is the T0. And Alan would like to show you that now. I gotta go take care of some customers, then I'll come back later on and give you a test drive. So this is the T0. We designed it to show the ultimate performance that's available with electric vehicle technology. T0 is an engineering term. T for time, zero indicating the beginning of a new time sequence. So for Tom and Alan, T0 represents the start of a new beginning. So it's very different from a gas-powered car if you put the big V8 with the supercharger in there it's going to really be lousy around town when you're just going to the grocery store. While the T0, that's not the case. It's one of the most efficient electric cars around in terms of energy use per mile, and yet it'll outperform Ferraris and Lamborghinis on a drag strip. In the past, AC propulsion vehicles were limited in power and range due to the limits of lead-acid batteries. To push those limits, they looked to another market pushing battery technology, laptop computers. This is one of the lithium-ion battery cells we're using to power the T0. Now, this is not a very large battery, so obviously we have to assemble it, assemble it into larger modules. Most car batteries are used to are made out of a bunch of small plates put in one big box, and we basically take 68 of these and assemble them to one big block. So you end up with a module that's about the size of a normal car battery. And we have 100 of these 68 cell blocks in the car, which is a total of 6,800 cells, 3,400 each side of the car. With nearly 350 pounds of batteries housed on either side of the car, the T0 has an optimum weight balance needed for sports cars in handling corners at top speed. Recharging those batteries only takes three hours and lasts 300 miles. To recharge the batteries, you basically just plug in your power line here, and the charge is all built in on this car. You don't need anything fancy at the curbside. All you need is a power outlet, and anything will do. A look under the trunk doesn't reveal much. That's the simplicity of electric vehicles. The motor is housed underneath this, and drive shafts the rear wheels, just like a regular sports car. And yet you have some trunk space. It's not bad for this kind of car. This is what an electric motor looks like before it's mounted in the vehicle. Instead of shifting gears and multiple moving parts, all of which cause wear and tear, this has one drive shaft spinning at a max of 13,000 RPMs. So simple, you can spin it with your finger. Most impressive, however, is how the batteries can charge themselves through everyday driving. One difference that's immediately apparent when you drive this car relative to normal internal combustion vehicle is that when you let off the throttle, the car slows down in a very smooth, controlled manner, which means you don't have to use the brakes for normal driving. And in fact, you use all the energy from the motion of the car to recharge the batteries a bit every time you slow down, which helps to increase your range, probably up to 40% for city driving. So how does the T0 perform? To get that answer, Tom Gage has agreed to give us a test drive. As an ex-race car driver, Tom understands the need for speed. The acceleration is what I call so accessible. That means it's easy to use and you don't get in a, into a lot of trouble when you use it. In the T0, there is only one gear. You really just press on the pedal and away you go. There's no clutch, no shifting. It's just smooth and powerful. 
we take to the street in order to see what the car can do. In particular, hard acceleration off the line. I'm going to put the brakes on full, floor the accelerator, and let off the brake. You're up to 60 in about 3.6 seconds, and your head snapped back. I've even had a feeling of, uh, of almost uh, not blacking out, but just a little disorientation from the acceleration. And if you happen to have a passenger in the car, and you catch them unawares with some serious acceleration, they don't know what's going on. This has proved to be the case with our cameraman. Wow, that's, 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 that's cool, man. AC propulsion has proven that electric power can have muscle. They do admit, however, to one drawback. As much as I like electric cars, they do have one problem when it comes to racing, and that is that they're dead silent. And uh, if, if you don't think that's a problem, try watching a race on TV with the noise turned off. It's just not the same.